Hey guys, what's up? Real quick before we start the video, my last video got copyrighted, so if you have not seen that yet, go give it a watch. It's about David Dobrik and how I got on a Zoom call with him. You might not have seen this video yet because when videos get copyrighted, YouTube does not push them out to subscribers as much. Anyways, if you haven't watched that video yet, go give it a watch. Now let's get into this video. Alright, so about an hour ago, I posted on my Instagram saying, ask me some questions for an upcoming YouTube video, and this is what this is. So basically, we're doing a Q&A, and I'm going to start answering some questions. Alright, on to the first question. Alright, so the first question here is by NG38 underscore, and the question is, does radiation hurt? So as you guys know, I'm doing radiation at the moment, and the way radiation works is it's a very concentrated beam going to a very specific area to try to kill the cancer cells. The treatment is usually pretty quick. For me, it's about 15 minutes. But while you're laying down there in the machine, you have to stay very still. Before my radiation treatment starts, I get four milligrams of hydromorphone, which is a very strong med to keep me sedated and will help me with my pain. So after I get the shot, I go into the machine and it's not it's not really painful at all. The only part that's painful is that I have to lay down super still because, well, I have back issues, I have issues. <laughs> so to answer your question, no. Radiation, it doesn't hurt. But for me, laying down there in the same spot for a while, that's the part that hurts. Oh, and in the very near future, guys, I'm gonna be doing a vlog about my radiation. The last day of radiation is pretty big to me. I'm gonna be interviewing different nurses, talking to different doctors hopefully, and showing you guys how radiation works and just my whole day in general. So stick around for that. All right, on to the next question. I might pronounce these names wrong. I'm trying my hardest, so please don't get offended. So this next question is by Calme.R. Who would be your dream person to collab with? As you guys know, one of my favorite YouTubers is David Dobrik. He's been a huge inspiration for a long time and I've always loved the styles of his videos. And I've been a huge fan for a while. So I started watching David Dobrik a long time ago. I enjoyed the style of his videos. I was inspired by his content and wanted to start a YouTube channel on my own. After everything went down, I actually got a chance to talk with him. And he told me to get on YouTube and start making videos. So I did. I think if I can collab with him in the future, well, that'd be a dream come true, and everything would come full circle. So to answer your question, who would I collab with? Well, David Dobrik. This next question here is by Marcelecci. How have I managed school throughout my cancer journey? And to answer that question, to be honest, kind of half-assed. This question over here is by Peter2237. What have been positive outcomes of South Growth throughout my cancer journey? One thing that I realized pretty fast was my perspective on everything changed. I gained a huge appreciation for the little things we take for granted. As you guys can maybe see right now, well, I'm in a wheelchair. I got paralyzed when they removed the tumor. And walking is, well, something I took for granted. Now I'm just rolling everywhere. When I originally got diagnosed, I came to a realization. I... I might die. And that made me value my time a lot more. You never know what can happen to you. You could be one day completely fine and the next, not so good. So enjoy your days because you never know what can happen. This next question is by Borowski2005. So this is a double question. The first part is, what sports did you play? The sport I played for the longest was football. I started at a very young age. I was about six or seven when I started. And we didn't just play touch, we played tackle right away. My mom got me into football because she thought I looked cute in the uniform. And well, I did. I always look cute. But football was always one of my favorite sports. Another sport I played was volleyball and a little bit of baseball. I was awful at basketball even though I'm 6'5". And the latest sport I got into was track and field. I did javelin. I went to the regionals. I went to something called OFSA, which, well, the Canadians will know, but it's pretty high up there. And the next part is, has any friend stood with you throughout your cancer journey? And the answer is, well, a lot of people have. When I originally got diagnosed, all my friends were checking in on me. They're all sending me texts, visiting the hospital, and it felt pretty good. But as the chemo started to affect my body more and more, I became less tolerant to see people. I was so nauseous that I couldn't have a conversation with anybody and, well, I couldn't really open my eyes. So I would just lay there while my friend just 
sat there looking at me. So the amount of visitors started to die out when my cancer treatments got worse and worse, but that's understandable. There's some friends that stuck by longer than others and some friends that stuck by the whole way. This next question is by Felipe underscore Zaldivar. Can I walk normally? And the quick answer, well, no. When they removed the tumor, I got paralyzed from the knees down. That doesn't mean I can't walk anymore, but it's very different from what it used to be. Because I don't have control of my ankles, I can't move it up and down, I can't move it side and side, and I can't stabilize. So I have to wear braces around my legs to make sure I don't roll my ankle when I add pressure. These braces are called AFOs. I also lost a little bit of other muscles like my glutes and my hamstrings, but that just makes walking a lot harder too. So I can't walk without any support, but when I do have support, it's a different story. I slowly started getting taught different ways to walk, and I used a walker. Once I started to gain enough muscle, I evolved to start using canes. So it's not really walking like you guys do, it's different muscles that I use to compensate to move my body forward. So to answer your question, no, I cannot walk normally, but I can walk weirdly. I waddle. This next question is by Bridgetown Girl. What's one thing that scares me? One thing you guys might not know about cancer is once you beat it, there's a good chance of it coming back. In movies and TV shows, they make cancer seem like once you beat it, you're done with it. The story's over, you live happily ever after. But in reality, once you beat cancer, there's a chance of it coming back. Like for me, I beat cancer once, it already came back. I beat cancer again, and well, I gotta find out. They say you aren't technically cancer free until 10 years after without getting the cancer back again. I'm hoping to be cancer free by 27 years old. This next question is by Lizzie underscore underscore 9021. When did I find out I had cancer? So I went into deep detail about the whole story in another video, which you guys can check out. I'll leave the link in the description. And if I do this correctly, there should be a link right here. But the quick answer is, I got diagnosed on October 12th, 2018. It was a long process to actually figure out I had cancer, but once they did, they treated me right away. Maddie.gorgon15 says, do you enjoy social media as much as you thought you would? And the answer is, well, yeah, I do. Having you guys there for me, it's so supportive. I have this huge platform where I have access to talk to millions of people. And luckily, well, I have the best audience in the world. All of you guys are so supportive. You're always there for me wondering how I am and checking in on me. Except for that one guy that disliked my video, I'm not talking about you. All right, so the smaller questions, I'm just gonna speed around it. What came first, the chicken or the egg? I think the chicken did because it probably evolved from like dinosaurs or some shit. The next question, will this be in the Q&A? No, it won't. Next question, summer or winter? Fall. How's life? We're blessed. Favorite show currently, The Walking Dead. Do you have crazy hospital stories? Yes, I do, and I'm posting more about them, but I also have a couple other videos which explain some of them. Go check them out. Do you play any instruments? If not, what would you like to play? I can kind of play the guitar and piano. Not well, I just play around with it, but I would like to learn them. Would I ever move to the USA? Well, if this YouTube thing takes off, yeah. What song do you always have on replay? Taylor Swift 22. <laughs> no. What's your favorite food? Tacos. Favorite animal? Sloth. Can you sing? <laughs> Not well. All right, so that's it for the speed round, and that's the last of the questions. If you guys like the video, please leave a like. It really helps out the channel. If you guys have something specific you want to see, comment down below what it is. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. As of right now, I have three other videos. If you haven't watched them yet, go watch them, and I will be posting much more. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.